Hey all, and welcome back. It's been a two month break from YouTube, two month break from social media in general, but I'm back and I had a very important break. I needed to focus on what this channel was gonna do in the future, how I was gonna efficiently continue to make content with a busy schedule, and I've got all that sorted out and I have a bunch of new things launching today. The first thing that comes out, even though this has been largely an art rage or rebel channel, I have a very important class that is for Photoshop. So the big daddy of digital art tools is Photoshop and I made a digital art course with Domestica that I'm very excited to launch and to share with you. We'll be doing some giveaways and some really cool things with that class. So keep tuned in so you can be a part of all that. Um, that stuff should launch today, tonight, tomorrow, and all through the week. Um, you'll be able to see how I employ my own custom tools and processes for digital painting in Photoshop and I cannot wait. And I really wanna to talk to you about why I chose to do the class in Photoshop and not do it in ArtRage or Rebel. That said, I'm also gonna be doing some comparisons between ArtRage, between Photoshop, and between Rebel in some really cool new in-depth videos. So they aren't just gonna be like, hey, here's a quick painting of some, you know, someone picking flowers or whatever. It's gonna be, what does it really feel like to be an artist who uses these tools and how to use them effectively? Um, so just really quickly, I wanted to point out one last thing, and that's this. Um, this Photoshop class that I have coming out with Domestica, it was a huge endeavor, and it took a ton of time, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And um, the one of the tools that I developed for this was a big set of brushes that continues to evolve. Even today, I'm tinkering and adding things. So um, that set of brushes will be available to anyone who takes the class. But it's also, it's more than that, really. It's about how do we, how do we paint digitally uh, doing portraits that look traditional? How do we employ these tools in a way that is satisfactory to those of us that have this textural approach to making artwork? Um, so you can see all of these paintings were done with that brush set, and they all um, have evolved out of my own sensibilities there. So I wanna share that with you. I wanna talk to you about tools, techniques, processes, comparisons and reviews of all of these different softwares. If you're up for that, you wanna check out this stuff this week, next week, and in the month to come, please stay tuned, subscribe, and get involved. Definitely check links and profiles because there's gonna be giveaways. There's gonna be free uh, courses giving, given away for Domestica. There's gonna be um, tool, tools and, and brushes, giveaways for ArtRage, for Photoshop, for Rebel. There's all kinds of things that I have planned. and um, and it's going to continue to evolve. So my Patreons get a uh, got a head start on some of the free course offerings, but um, everyone else, keep an eye on this space for the rest of the week. And uh, thanks so much for checking back in and not losing sight of me while I was away. But I'm back and I'm back for good. So um, I'm excited to be here. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.